The trained observer's role in the donning process has three major components. One, guide the healthcare provider through the donning process using the checklist. Two, assist the healthcare provider in donning their personal protective equipment as necessary. Three, continually scan your colleague's personal protective equipment and the environment for possible contamination risks during donning. The checklist is a memory aid that structures the donning process. Its details are important, but they are not your only focus. The big picture here is keeping your colleague and yourself safe by identifying and avoiding contamination risks. All instructions from the checklist need to be verbally confirmed, closing the communications loop before they are acted on. Assuring successful completion of each donning step is one of your major roles. Remember to use verbal and explicit closed loop communication for each step in the process. Ideally, as the observer, you tell the healthcare provider what step to perform. They verbalize back the task to ensure they understood, and you, as the observer, verbalize completion. Completion means a thorough check that every part of the healthcare provider's personal protective equipment is in place, intact, fits properly, allows freedom of motion so your colleague can do their work, is positioned to ensure all skin and hair is covered. Completion also means a thorough check to ensure no part of the personal protective equipment is ripped, torn. As an observer, you are guiding and protecting your colleagues. The foundation of your role is communication. The first step here is to agree on a system of engagement so that you and your healthcare provider colleague can signal one another that the donning and doffing process needs to begin. Will you use call bells or hand signs or verbal signals? Will you, as the observer, always be in a certain location or available on a certain pager or phone? The donning process begins when you and the healthcare provider engage one another and verbally review the protocol. This timeout or pre-briefing will involve confirming all necessary supplies are available, conveniently located, correctly sized, and in good working order, including no rips or tears. Running through the order of activities on the checklist, setting expectations about the timeline and a slow, steady pace for completing the donning process, establishing a common understanding of what you will do if something unexpected happens. Acting as a guide and protector means that you are proactive about identifying breaches of protocol and possible points of contamination. As examples, when you and your colleague begin the donning process, you may notice that there are still wearing jewelry or ID badges. Draw items like cell phones, jewelry, and ID badges to your colleague's attention well before they don any personal protective equipment. A good time may be when they first change into their fresh surgical scrubs. Other examples of proactive risk monitoring during doffing might include identifying issues with equipment, Looking at your gloves, do they seem to fit? They look a little big. Let's get you a different size. Identifying placement and fit issues with personal protective equipment. Now we're going to verify that the PPE was placed properly. We're going to make sure that all your skin is covered. Controlling the pace of the donning process. We're going to do this safely. We're going to do everything slowly and methodically. I'm here to help you if you have any kind of questions. These are only some examples. Your role is to protect not just by reading from the checklist, but by proactively monitoring for contamination risks. 